Well, we are back with an electricity machine, electrical machine. I don't know how to talk. I haven't done a video in a few days. I just, I just work on typewriters and sniff mineral spirits all day. Anyway, this machine um, I sold to a friend of mine, and then she had some issues with it. It was jamming, and or it was making a weird noise, and I wasn't sure what it was. First, this this clutch back here. I'll turn this off. Hear that? It's it's quiet. It, it hums a little bit from the motor. You can hear the motor humming a little bit. For the most part, it's a quiet, quiet little machine. I'm gonna turn this off. This is a clutch right here, and you can see it's the belt is behind it, and the belt is on a. It has its you know guide track that it's on, and then there's these little. See these little silver things that are sticking up? That's a centrifugal clutch. So it's, you can see the belt isn't going right now. As soon as this w works up enough speed, these little fingers flip out and inside of this, it pinches this main shaft or this hub, pulley hub that holds this thing. And that's what keeps, that's what lets this belt spin um, when it gets up to a certain amount of RPMs that it likes. Uh, and this was missing. I don't know how it was working. The, the, it was missing both. Of, there's two set screws, kind of like platen set screws, that hold this uh, centrifugal clutch onto the the motor shaft. And there was a loose screw in the case when I got it. So I think that screw it doesn't belong here because this is like a body screw, and one of the body screws were missing. So I think whoever did the repair on it before the screws, the set screws came off, and uh, they just found whatever they could that fit in the, the, the thread pitch and they, they did that so anyway that's just that was interesting this is my this is my first time working on an electric machine guys so I just kind of like had to figure out so I'm just kind of like uh, exploring the machine and letting you know what I found so after I got this sort of I thought that was going to be the issue because it threw the belt when this whole thing was off the belt was thrown so I thought that was going to be the issue and so I got that and then I, I fired it up and it still was was jamming and making all sorts of weird noise so I started moving this pulley and it was moving but then this this pulley this is your, like your main I don't know what any of these electrical terms are the electric machine terms are but there's a bar that runs across here and it spins really fast when this spins and it's got teeth on it and basically you touch this button and it like bombs away drops the type bar onto that spinning shaft that has the teeth on it and it kind of catches it and <laughs> slaps it and flings it around there's like four notches on there that you know the, I, I think the ibms have like a rubber platen down there that does the same thing this one actually has uh, solid metal notches or i don't know that's what i saw it might might not be but yeah so you push this button and then it kind of just releases it into the into the nether and then once that bottom of the bar drops it hits that super fast spinning guy and it just whoosh, wax that momentum up into the tight bars and it, and it goes what was happening was is that one of the tight bars on the, the linkages underneath weren't returning so it would it would fall like if the trap door would fall but then it would just sit there on that spinning shaft and it would just click it would just sit there and brrr, cause the whole the whole thing to start backing up on itself so i cleared that out and cleaned it up and lubed it up and and now uh, after the the motion the thing pops back up out of the way of the, the spinning shaft so we're going to test this out make sure it isn't gummed up and it keeps working like it should but it's a fun machine guys like these little uh electric machines we'll, we'll throw it in the, the type stand here and slap out some slappers slappers only ding, ding, ding. I like these machines because you get the feel of an old typewriter with the type bars and the carriage release, but you have this touch to it that's just like... I mean, it's just effortless to touch. You barely touch this key and it just it drops that trap door and lets, lets that key go flying. So if you guys, you know... I'm not much for the electric machines only because I think if I got if I had one of these electric machines all the time I wouldn't use any of my manuals <laughs> just because it's that much you know it's fun and it's easy to use so uh, 
I had to get rid of this machine, <laughs> not because I didn't like it, but because I liked it a lot. And I think it's really cool. And I think if you really did want to get into the typewriter thing, and you, you wanted to, you know, you didn't have the dexterity at your fingers and you're just looking for something quick, but has the sound and the feel of a typewriter, but it'll actually, you could like, you know, barely touch these, feather these keys and it, you know, fires off. So this is a, a good choice for that. I think that this style, the Smith Corona Electrics, the 5TE, the 5LE, this is the wide carriage, the Electric 12. I think these are the best styled because they're styled after the, the 5 Series Smith Coronas. And, you know, if you're a fan of the Smith Corona, I'm not really a fan of like the, the Galaxies, the late, late model, boxier uh, Smith Corona Electrics. But if you're looking for the pinnacle of uh, electric typewriter machines, these Smith Coronas are fun 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 and it still has the quick platen you know you can take the platen out you can adjust all your stuff it's got a power shift can you see that yeah. power shift button so the shift the shift basket is powered the space bar is powered uh, the only thing that isn't powered is your tabs your backspace and then your actual carriage return so those are three manual aspects that you still have to do and you still got your key set tabulators your color selection and you've got a this is how hard your type bars will actually strike the page if you if you type fast you still might want to crank that up but you know if you're punching holes you got dark ink you can just adjust that whatever there's a, another adjustment lever right here on the bottom and this has to do with the uh, the, the trap door effect how, how much effort it takes or how much it takes to drop that bar into the into the spinning wheel guy this is just that so you can see it's like a worm gear screw right there I'm turning the knob underneath the machine and this yeah you can feel it has like a more of a, a firm it's barely a change but it's enough to to have fun with an, an adjustment in the settings so this is my first look at the Electric Smith Crone. Oh, and it has a safety thing. You can hear the motor still spinning, but as soon as you lift this, whew, everything stops because they don't want you. It's got this safety switch right here. They don't want your hands getting your, in here with the, the fixing the ribbon, and you rest your hand on the key, and pshat, next thing you know, you got you know, a permanent tattoo of a lowercase G on your middle finger. So that's it, guys. Have fun. Talk to you later. Smith Corona Electric out.